we lost our drinking water we lost our trees we lost our houses and we lost everything i don't know how long my house will last here don't drink much, much here now the sea is coming in and I, I'm, I'm i'm sitting on the edge of the water right now oh, i've had a cry yeah there's no doubt about that and there is uh, no water until now the, the rain season is not coming but we hope we hope that is coming soon Uh, this project is called the human face of climate change. We are traveling through all the continents right? and take portraits of people that are already affected by climate change. So we were, for example, in Australia, we were looking at the intensifying drought situation in the southeast of the country. We looked at forest fires that are getting more and more a problem. We went to Kiribati. They have a problem with intensifying sea erosion and rising of sea level. We visited Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a problem with changing rain patterns, rising sea levels, bigger storm activity. Just came back from Siberia. We were in Yakutsk in the far east of Siberia. They have a problem with melting permafrost, uh, infrastructure damage, houses start sinking in the ground. Uh, we also were in Peru, in the Altiplano, and in Peru uh, the glaciers are melting in the high Andes, the rain patterns are changing, the weather is, people basically say the weather is going crazy, the farmers are suffering from that, it's getting warmer. <laughs> Once we are in the area where we know what is the problem there, what, what is the effect of climate change on people, we go out and look for a location, look where is the problem manifesting. It has to be visual for our portraits, for the photography. Then we go and try to get people. The person is the most important thing. It's about the people. For our portraits, we shoot large format or medium format and use flash systems. The life, you could say, it's glamorous. We treat a celebrity the same, we give them the same light, we give them the same colors and give them, hopefully, the dignity. Thank you very much. Uh, we learned so much more about climate change by going out and visiting these places. But once you go out there, you really see what kind of an impact it can have on people. And it's changing lifestyles, it's changing people's traditions. At the moment, it hits mostly the poorer, a lot of people that still lead, have a subsistent lifestyle, they are hit immediately, already now. I think what's really happening with climate change right now, it's like probably in its first stage, it's where it can be felt by people, and it's mostly people in rural areas that have like subsistent lifestyle that are already impacted by climate change today. And they are kind of like the canneries in the coal mine. And you can see it everywhere, where you were, it's happening. But our lifestyle, you don't really see that much, but I'm quite certain in our lifetime that's going to change. And we're going to see changes coming to us, to our cities as well, that will impact on all of our lives. It is a real threat, it is a real problem, and it's definitely something we have to do about it.